Hey everyone, today we're here to unclog this culvert. You see over here, not much flow going into this drainage ditch. You see right here, there's a trail of beavers going up and down to the street. And over here, there's a swamp. And I can see the water is a lot higher than it's supposed to be. As you can see plants and stuff on their water. Here's the culvert. And look at the debris here. It looks like it's been opened up before by the DOT. And right here, it appears it might be able to be opened. This is a job for the rake. Got to get the rake out and uh, start digging there. All right, everybody, we're going to start raking here. Time to roll up my sleeves and get in there. Hopefully it's not internal. I don't think it's internal. I feel a ton of sticks and stuff. Hoping it's just on the end. Hoping it is. Oh, it's a deep one. It ain't a deep one, ain't it? Oh, it's going fast. There it goes. I don't hear it yet. Oh, there we go. Whoa, there we go. Real fast. There's the culvert. There we go. There's a pretty nice whirlpool there going on. Here comes some muck. Finally, start to see the mouth of the culvert. Ooh.
actually a fairly small pipe we're fitting a lot of water through there. Let's get down some more of the dam. A grabber! Why is that in there? As we're breaking down the dam, it appears it's slowing down only because it's smoothing out. It's actually accelerating because I'm getting the dam out of the way. Totally awesome. All righty, we got that open pretty well. Now we're going to go over to the other side and see what's happening over there. Got that draining really well now. All right, everybody. Now that we got it draining really well, we're gonna head across the street to see the progress. See all the current right here? Coming out from underneath those logs? Whole swamp is gonna drain back to where it's supposed to be. And you know beavers. They'll be here tonight to jam it up again. There needs to be a proper structure here or one going out. It's not set up properly for beavers. All right. That's gonna drop back. This is for drawback purposes only because they can plug that up again so fast. Look what we got going on on the other end. The water level has rose in a ton. Got a bunch of water coming out. Now we're gonna go for a walk because it looks like the drainage ditch is being held up. See down there, it looks like a beaver dam causing it to back up. And that could cause problems in the future to this culvert if it continues to back up. It's going through very high grass. It's about up to my chest. Walking down here to that dam. Hopefully none of these plants are gonna leave little seed stuck to me but it basically looks just like golden rod most of it look at this our leaves here in Pennsylvania are almost gone all oh, this beaver dam is down here too yeah this is a beaver dam down here and it looks like the DOT has been keeping up a fight somebody has broken that down before oh there's so many beaver trails around here all right, maybe we can break this a little bit more.
Oh! Oh! Some little creature just ran. Alrighty, we got that dam completely down. We just dropped the water back upstream from the canal enough so that there's rapids up there where it's coming out. Alrighty, so now the water's going through the canal nice and easy. Now look upstream, coming through very nice. All right, now that we're coming back up to the road, walking through some pretty heavy grass. And now you see, there's actually current here. It's not being built up by that dam. The dam is not in the way anymore. You see, it's clearly coming out now really nice. Had a nice current coming out and it's got a place to go. Dam's not holding anything up anymore. Before, you could see the marks of where 
I was holding it all the way back up here quite a bit. It wasn't spilling out of the culvert like that. Go back across the street. All right, it's coming in very nicely now. Wow, this pond is not that big. You can see water dripping underneath that log because that log was sitting in it before I started. We dropped a good six inches at least now. And this will calm down very shortly. Looks very nice. Not nearly as much water going in there now. So we're gonna start digging more. I'm getting a bit sweaty. I'm gonna have to take my jacket off. And I'm surprised I'm getting so sweaty. It's only about 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Thought it was pretty chilly before I started. But now, oh, I'm sweating a bunch. Now that I'm starting to work on this. I'm starting to sweat a whole bunch. Things are drain back real fast. I just flung some mud up in my boot. Alrighty. Gonna get some from the other side now. What? So much of it. Letting everything pass so the beavers can't use it again. Not gonna make their job easier. By the time this is done, it'll drop probably a total of 18 inches. It's already dropped about six or so. Wanna dig this really deep so the water can get out of here. Now you see the water starting to come in nice and flat again. Totally leveled that hump that it was coming in through. Oh, looking at the edges. We dropped probably 10 inches by now. Because before it was up here way above the culvert. Now the culvert actually has air coming into it. Oh! Woo! 
getting quite the workout. I'm sweating a whole bunch. Quite the workout. Ugh. So I'm dragging that thing at the bottom with a ton of force and I'm pushing down as hard as I can. Just scraping the bottom of all this dirt. Just scraping like crazy. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Ooh. Scraping. Oh. Alrighty. We got that pretty well. It's pretty deep now. And we're going to check out the other side in just a moment. Culvert's all clear. Everything passed through. Rinse off all that mud. Oh. Sweating a lot. Look at the log now. See the water line all around the edge? We just dro we're dropping back. It's going to keep dropping. Until we get to the bottom of this, it's going to drop a whole nother foot. Coming out real nice. Anyways, everybody, hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.